What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video inside on Exploring and Outdoors. Today we are going to be going over our archery, elk hunting gear, deer hunting gear, and basically everything we're going to be using in September. We are getting ready, chomping at the bit for archery season to come, as a lot of you I'm sure are. So Moose is helping me today. I'm organizing gear and I just kind of want to talk about things, see if you guys have any tips for me, and I wanted to tell you about things and maybe it could help you in the future packing your gear. So. As soon as Moose gets done with the sniff test of everything, we will uh, get into this. All right, so starting things off, I want to go pretty quickly through this. It's going to be a really basic setup, but starting with my apparel, I'm going to wear the same thing in. If I'm even multiple day hunting, I'll take a couple changes of socks and underwear and stuff. But other than that, I'm going to wear the same clothes every single day. Starting with the boots, I've ran these Merrells for over a year now. They've been awesome, and uh, we're going to run them again this year hunt out of those they've been perfect waterproof and uh, super breathable so no hot spots I'm gonna run those again all right and now going down into the camo I don't know if you guys are aware but I am a huge Sitka sub alpine fan I ran this stuff last year during archery season had awesome success with it so we're gonna be doing that again I have the zip up quarter zip up top um, fleece and then I have the Long sleeve tea stuff is amazing. It's super breathable and I find that that's all I ever use during August and September. I don't usually need to bundle up. So those are the main pieces I'm gonna be running. And I run um, some Wrangler Outdoorsman pants. They're like a five pocket, um, stretchy fit pant. Really awesome outdoor pant. And I find that I don't need camo for that situation. So I just run something like this and have had no trouble with it in the past. Probably gonna do that. Moving towards the optics, I am going to be running my Vortex Diamondback 10x50 uh, binos. That's going to be my main optic. I don't have a spotting scope, but I don't usually use one anyway. That's going to keep me light and do the job perfectly. Of course, I'm going to have the GoPro and a few different attachments that will either go on my bow or something of that sort. Trail camera, have it set to video mode for the most part. I'll usually put a fresh SD card, fresh batteries in there and take that with me in my pack if I find a new spot or just want to know something even setting that up for a day or two could give you some information that you might not know before so that's a huge thing i like to keep in my bag is at least one spare camera to set up if i need to okay moving into the bag setups as far as backpacks go i don't normally run a big day pack crammed full of stuff i like to keep it pretty light so one of my favorite pieces of gear is going to be a waste pack something with multiple storage outlets it's going to allow me to keep water food knives whatever i need for the daily essentials in that keeps me light, keeps the weight off my back, keeps me hunting faster. I feel just doesn't weigh me down throughout the day. I can always make it back to camp for the big stuff. And then for hauling meat, definitely gonna need something a little bit more heavy duty. So I don't like to run a soft pack. A frame pack is awesome. I use it for shed hunting. This one is a fairly new setup, but it's really comfortable. It has side storage and everything. So that'll be for hauling quarters after I get them game bagged and clean. So perfect little setup in my opinion. As for the little stuff, as you know, they say the golden rule, one is none, two is one. So I always have a backup or a couple first aid kits. This is just one of them in a waterproof case. Has the essentials if worse comes to worse out in the backcountry. A couple lighters, you can never go wrong. Fire is key. Same with knives. Um, you can never have too many. This is actually one of my favorite new little knives. Moose actually got a hold of it, but it is a custom antlered blade, Damascus knife. Really special piece of equipment to me. And hopefully we can get that bloody this year. You guys may have been wondering what is in this bag. These are my four quarter game bags that allows me to do an elk or a deer. And that's the most simplistic way I found to carry these bags, keep them dry and everything of that nature. So if you're wondering what's in that bag, game bags. And the last piece of absolute essential gear this is going to be my bow setup. It is a bear. Um, I had it, I actually custom painted it myself to kind of match the subalpine setup. I don't think that you need really expensive setups, so I've been using this for a couple years. I do need a new string, which I'm going to be getting this year, but I just put a new sight on it. Whisker biscuits I've always had. I'm going to keep running that until I see a need to change. Other than that, this setup is a perfect elk and deer combo it does it all for me and i love that just run a true fire release nothing special and then as for arrows i like to run blazer veins luminox 
and then we'll also go with a 100 grade three blade broadhead fixed cannot run expandables in Oregon or mechanical so we keep it simple and another piece of gear that's not necessary but hugely essential to my setup I love to have trekking poles trekking poles to me are almost essential nowadays I take them in everywhere you can just go further and a lot harder this is easier on your body so widely recommend those you can find cost effective options don't want to overlook it in my opinion and that is going to cover all of the gear hope i didn't go over anything too fast but if you have any questions make sure to drop them down below okay so i realized i didn't cover two pretty important things but it's because to me it's so simple one is going to be my meals mainly all i'm going to do is run a little butane pocket stove like a jet boil and that's going to be mountain house meals dehydrated stuff like that they have all the varieties and it's so simple nowadays, that's basically all I eat. Keeps it really light, and you can do that right there on the mountain. Second is my sleeping setup. I've cut through all the crap, tents, backpacking tents, vestibules, all that stuff to me just doesn't do it. I love hammocks. So I found a really light backpacking hammock with a mosquito net. It takes care of all the bugs to me. It doesn't keep critters out, and it's really comfortable combined with an ultralight backpack, or I mean an ultralight backpacking sleeping bag, down to like 30 degrees. It is stuffed down into like a little tiny ball, throw it in your backpack, go multiple days. You can sleep anywhere and it's awesome. So those two things I left out, but I feel like it doesn't need to be addressed as much because everyone has their opinions on those and that's what I like to run. So hopefully you found this video interesting. If you run any of the similar gear, make sure to drop that down in the comments. Let me know how you like to do it and uh, what products you're using. If you have not liked this video already, please drop a thumbs up if you want to see more hunting stuff, archery, if you wanna see shooting, anything like that, let me know what you guys wanna see. Secondly, if you have not subscribed to this channel, definitely do so, we're gonna be doing awesome stuff. We always have giveaways, free gear, stuff like that going on and always new videos, so make sure to hit the notifications when you do subscribe so you're always notified when I drop a new video. You never know what you're gonna miss. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will catch you next time when we go explore again.